Hello everybody! Oh, welcome to the universe! Uh, I cannot do this. Welcome to the, the universe. universe! I have decided that that is going to be what I call this channel and I made a new Instagram page and it's called the universe and that's where I'm going to be posting most of my makeup and YouTube stuff. So please follow me there. Today I'm going to be testing out new Korean makeup from Korea. So my friend just came back from Korea and I asked her to pick up some things while she was there and she picked up a lot. So we're going to be testing that out and most of these things are like top I hot ton items that I saw on Korean YouTubers that I follow. And the first thing is avocado and olive lip balm from Skin Food. It's a very waxy texture and it's very thin and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this. Usually I'll apply this at night. It's very thin. I thought it would be kind of thick because my favorite lip balm is the Smith's lip balm at Sephora. This is really thin. It smells kind of like soap. And I'd say it's pretty hydrating, but it's not like the most hydrating. There's also some samples in this, so I'm going to actually just give the sample a try because why not since we're going full Korean. Instant Fix Prime Primer. Ah, oh. oh, it feels very silicone-y to be honest. Also, you can see there's um, a bit of a constellation going on here. I probably wouldn't purchase this because I'm, I'm not really into putting on like fully silicone-y feeling primers anymore. But let's see if it gets the job done. Anyways, and I'm gonna go in with my usual L'Oreal foundation, but I am using this new puff. This is also from Benilico. It's called Poreless Covericious Puff from Benilico. And this is actually from Shinim on YouTube, she uses this puff dry, but she said it's really good. Let's see how it looks. There's two sides. I don't really know why or like the color. Maybe one for like foundation and bronzer and then one for concealing and stuff like that. And since I'm using Korean makeup, I think I'm gonna do more of a Korean look today. The sponge is kind of small, so it's like I feel like I'm like, <gasps> no, pause. Ooh, Christy would have killed me if I had wore, did not wear my nails again. So, so far, I'm actually liking the sponge. I think, minus the fact that it's a bit small, so I'm like kind of grappling with it a little bit. I think good application. I mean, it's not like, oh my gosh, this sponge is freaking awesome, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all. The good thing about a sponge this small and kind of easy to use is you can really get into the sockets. Sockets. Okay, actually, I really like this and I just don't- I like the fact that I don't have to wet it because sometimes it just gets so lazy. So now I'm going to go into- this is not a new product. I've had this and I've used it. The Sem Concealer in the shade 2 and I'm just going to cover up a bit of my blemishes. Okay, actually, I hecka like this. What the fudge? I don't know if you can find this in America. Maybe YesStyle carries it. The good and bad thing about YesStyle, or the good thing is that it ships you Korean products that you can't really get here. But the bad thing is it takes like a month. Okay, great. So now I'm going to quickly highlight a little bit. This is the Luna concealer that I also always use all the time. Ah, my under eyes with it just a tad bit. So you know, I have a new channel name. So there's a few reasons. I always did want to change it because to be honest, you will never be able to find me because I'm competing with the Yuna Kim. And her name is not even Yuna, it's Yona. Kim Yona, the figure skater, and I'll never beat her because she's freaking awesome and she's an Olympic star and I'm a measly, I'm not measly. But you know, we are not the same caliber. So I was like, okay, I need to just, I need to change my channel name, I think, to something that, I don't know, kind of catchy, kind of cute. And so I did a poll on my Instagram, on my personal Instagram, and I got really, really, really good suggestions. And it came down to be uniful, the universe, universal beauty, and universal makeup. And actually, be uniful actually got the most votes. And that was from my friend, Hannah. But I think I liked inside, I was like, oh, I think I liked the universe the best just because, I don't know, 
it's like my world you know what i'm saying i don't know but i'll i'll have to tell you guys some of like some of the suggestions i got you nasty that was very popular and you not that good at makeup so watch me makeup university people are so good it's great i love it all right, so I'm done concealing. I've got pretty good base going on. Very clean, very, like, very gigante. I love, wow, oh, I would hexa recommend this. Great, you don't have to wet it. Next is the Peach Cotton Multi Finish Powder by Skin Food. I did see that this was a pretty hot item, so I decided why not go for this? And I just, man, these puffs are so nice and pung pung -y. Oh, actually the scent is okay. It's not strong, but it's definitely there the thing about Korean powder is it's very like it's just white, you know There's no usually they don't have like different shades and colors of it And I don't know if this is like mattifying it's multi finish. So I mean for something like this though, you'd have to test out how it looks throughout the day, but so far I Like it. Oh, man. I think I want to like everything Oh gosh, okay, it's soup. Okay, this is the bad thing about it is now it's okay as soon as I open the thing It's all powdered in there uh. Next we have bronzer and this bronzer seems to be very popular I know the too cool for school one is super popular and it kind of looks similar But this is the V shading from Peri Petty Peta and it has three different shades Obviously, I'm probably gonna dip more here and the thing about Korean bronzers usually they tend to be too cool toned for me but this looks like it has a nice mix of warm and cool shades i'm just gonna actually mix in everywhere let's kind of stay here see how the shading goes and usually i feel like korean bronzers are so light they're like finishing powders on me so i'm not really too keen on them but this i mean this is definitely dark enough but mixing it all i think would be it's gonna work for me I think to a certain level, I knew these products would be good, so I don't think any of these will be a full flop. And just an update, I still feel moisturized on my lips. I really thought the moisture would go away quickly because it almost feels like a lotion-y texture almost on your lips, but I'm still feeling the, the moisture, feeling hydrated. It's good. I think I have a nice chiseled look. I'm gonna quickly contour my nose. So now I'm going to move on to the blush and actually I'm going to use, I'm going to be using this palette. It's called the Mood Style Styler from Wake Make. I've never tried Wake Make, but it seems to be all the rage these days in Korea. And I was like, oh yeah. And I watched this other YouTuber, Hyojin, Cho Hyojin. She's so good at makeup and she... Okay, so I think it was a sponsored video, but she said she loves these and I dipped into it a little bit last night Okay, obviously when it comes to Korean shadows color payoff is very different It's much more subtle and very light even like the payoff of the pigment But I think that's it's not because it's a bad product like it's kind of hard to describe But anyways, there's actually a blush and a bronzer in this palette I probably could use this bronzer, but I've already bronzed my face So I'm gonna go in with this blush and this is more of a peachy pink right up my alley as you know very subtle you can't even see it let me just dip into there um it's hard to see a little bit right but it's, it just has a nice flush of a pink and there's three of these palettes and this is the color number three b coral because as you know i love corals i love pinks i'm just gonna dip it into the I mean, the pan size is nice, but it's hard when it's a blush, but I think I can get it. It's a little dusty. I'm just gonna give myself a light blush today. We're going Korean style. But Koreans do love blush. But they like more of like a high pink for the most part. So you can see it's pretty subtle, but it's just a really nice coral pink. So nice blush. I think it really brings out my cheekbones too. Mm. Okay, love it. So I don't have a highlighter. I feel like in Korea, they just do blush. I'm just gonna add the tiniest, tiniest bit of highlighter. I don't have a Korean highlighter. Um, I don't think I asked for one. So I'm gonna use the Maybelline Master Chrome. I don't want it to be too much. Wow, this is really a little bit to me. I'm gonna spray my face, then I'm gonna do my brows and I'm gonna be right back. I'm using the Drawing Eyebrow Pencil from Etude House, which I've already had. And I'm gonna lighten the color of my brows a little bit. And this is another Etude House product. Color my brow, brow gel, and then I'll be right back. Goodbye. So the brows are on and I sprayed my face. And I just wanna comment on the powder 
So I don't think it's fully mattifying, which is good. I don't want a mattifying powder because I can still see some of my, my shine, which I'm not very shiny. I'm more dry anyways, so I like that. Okay, moving on. I've done my brows and now I'm going to go into my eyeshadow. So I'm going to start off with this color. I don't know the names of these shades. As my base, it is... I would say it's like a brown coral. It's not very, it's not orangey and it's not pink, but it's right in the middle with just a warm brown tone as well. Okay, this pulls a little bit more orangey on my skin, which is fine because I think it's still a good transition. And then I'm going to actually go in with this more corally pink shade first and kind of add that color onto my entire eye. When I see Korean makeup artists, is like just washes of color over the entire lid. Definitely has a little bit less of a pink payoff than I thought. Yeah, but it's okay. And then I'm gonna take a more bulleted brush and go into the darkest shade in the palette. It's really not that dark. And I'm gonna kind of start in the outer corner, but I'm gonna bring it in a little bit. So start here and wash it right where kind of my, my crease is. And then kind of pointy it out a little bit there. Korean makeup, I know I say this time and time again, but it's all, it's not about like jinango. Like it's not about like strong. You don't actually want super high payoff because the look is all about kind of like flushes of color. Nice, natural, you know? But I think I'm just so used to wanting that strong payoff that I'm like, oh, what the fudge? Underneath my eye and kind of draw that in as well and bring it in a little bit. You know, that fake eye bag, make it look bigger puppies, you know? I'm going to mute it a little bit, the bottom of my eyes, by going in back with that first base shade that I used and kind of washing that underneath. Then I'm gonna go into that pink shade again and just kind of go on the center of my bottom lid. So now going into the pearl part. So there's these two shimmers, they're ultra shimmery. I think I like this one a little bit better from what I tried. Just take my finger first, and what I saw her do is she like pops it in the middle first, pop, and then she smudges it out over the entire lid. Go ahead and do the same thing. Oh yeah. Ooh. It's hard for me to get the inner corners because of my nails, so I'm gonna go in with a brush. It's a bit gritty, like when I touch it, like it's not like a soft, cause I guess it's not like a foil, you know? It's a shimmer, pearl, pearl. But when I put it on the lid, it doesn't feel gritty at all. I'll press it in and smudge it all the way up. I'm gonna hit the bottom with that same color as well. Really get in there. I'm gonna actually, I need to spray this. It doesn't pick up that much. I'm gonna be really generous with it. I'm gonna go back in with that darker shade on the outer corner and make it a little bit more, I don't know, elongate that a little bit. Pull it out, like pull out my eye shape a little bit more. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with the shimmer at the top. And this one seems a little bit more foily, so I'm gonna go in with my finger first. I'm gonna hit the same area. Oh yeah, oh, and just press it in. Put that on the bottom as well. I'm gonna drag it down a little bit more. Then I'm actually going to use this as my inner corner highlight as well. Too strong and I'm gonna press it up and down. These are the eyes, very gold, pearl, coral, shimmery pink. I like it. I actually like this palette. I think this is perfect for Korean style to makeup for sure. So now next is this eyeliner that I got. The It's from a Pew, a Pew Born to be Mad Proof Liquid Liner. And this color is the, br oh, it's deep black. I thought it was brown. That's a deep black. It's nice and feathery, thin. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw the more Korean styled eyeliner. I'm gonna first start in the mid. I'm not gonna go all the way in first. Well, okay, black is really dark, but. Well, this eyeliner is really good. It's nice. I'm gonna go in with the brown and I'm gonna kind of smudge out the eyeliner just to make the 
color a little less so harsh of a black because this is a really strong black which is good it's called deep black it should be but for the look i think it needs to be a little bit softer so i'm going to just go ahead and apply some of that brown eyeshadow on top to soften it up a little bit oh nice and it's working so that's the eyes with the eyeliner now i'm going to use a new mascara i know people are probably sick and tired of me using that same mascara but it's so good i'm going to be using this Oh shoot, where is this from? Curly Studio All Day Rise Mascara. I don't think it's waterproof, which most of the times if a mascara is not waterproof, it won't keep my lashes up. But since it's a Korean mascara, I kind of wonder if it'll do something different. There are tiny fibers in this mascara, so that's good. Oh, this is kind of dry already, which I like. Usually though, because the Kiss Me is so wet, I'll get it on my actual lid. This is working out just fine. Okay, holy cow, I really was gonna put on singles because I just wanted to, but like this mascara, my lashes are super, super short. But this mascara literally, I feel like it coats every single lash and because of the fibers, it helps extend them and it's dry so it's not like getting everywhere because my lid to lash space is so thin. This might be my new favorite. I'm just worried that it's not gonna keep my lashes up, which is fine. If that does happen, then what I'll do is I'll put my heroin, heroin masque, masque first and then I'll put this on because this is bomb. Okay, so last thing is the lips. Korean makeup doesn't usually do like super glossy lips or super matte lips. It's more of the blotted out kind of look, which I've been really into these days anyway. So this is from Too Cool For School. It's the art class Nuage, N-U-A-G-E, Nuage, Nuage, Nuage. New Age Lip. This color is Nudie Slip. And you know what? It seems right up my alley. Oh wow, and it looks like a more of a matte texture. It's a little bit more orangey than I thought. Oh, it's it's very moussey. Oh, and it's much less pink. I feel like it's kind of incorrect from what the bottle looks like. So I'm just gonna first put on a little bit. And I'm gonna... Oh, hold on. Oh, it's there. It's very velvety. Velvety, I think, is different from matte. Okay, it presses in so nicely, and I think it blends well into, like, my face. Definitely nudie. I wonder if it's too nudie for me. What do you guys think? Actually, I like it. Okay, so this is the final look. Let me bring you in closer. Nice. So, okay, let me just review the products very quickly. A++++++. Oh my gosh, the thing is so good. I would really highly recommend that sponge if you can get it. I don't know how. Is this the best lip balm I've ever tried? No, but it's nourishing and it's nice. It's very light and very thin, and which I don't know if I like, but I think it's a good thing to prep when you're using a lip, especially if you're not going to use a gloss. So I would recommend that, but uh, it's not a must. I think this bronzer is great. I think there's something like that here in America. But this V-shading Petty Peta, very, very good. I like the color. I think it's very natural, but it's not too light and it's not too cool tone. For some way, that's my skin tone, which is much darker than the average Korean in Korea. Great blush in this palette. And actually, overall, I think I really do like this palette. Even though it is softer colors, I think the payoff is still quite nice. And, when, and the shimmers and the pearl, so, so, so good. Eyeliner, great. I wish I had brown, but I think this black is also... I actually don't have a black eyeliner anyway, so I think this is really good. Mascara is freaking lit fire. Like, actually, my lashes aren't going down. Because usually when it's not waterproof, it goes down within like the five minutes. And then lastly, I think this is the last product. The Too Cool For School Nuage Lip. Like, I like it. It's just something that I don't usually do, and it's really light. Like, I usually don't apply a lip that is this light, but I think for this look, it looks really good. And, oh yeah, la and the, this finishing powder. I like it. It's not mattifying at all. At first, I was a little bit worried about that, but as you can see, I, you still see, like, a dewiness going through. Like, my foundation is really dewy, so you kind of see that. And it's not, it doesn't look oily. Maybe in per, like, maybe because of the light, it makes you make may think that I look oily, but I don't think I look oily at all. I think I like everything. Like, the only thing I don't think you have to have is this lip balm. And it's like, it's lip balm. It's not even, it has nothing to do with this look. What do you guys think of this look? Very Korean though, right? 
I tried to wear something kind of Korean-y, but you can't really see it. That's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this Korean testing Korean makeup look. Yeah, but make sure to like and subscribe. Be nice to your parents, wear a mask, and see you guys at my next video. Bye! For uh, that she could, uh, I had goodbye from the universe. I need now leaving the universe. Uh, goodbye from the universe. No, leaving the universe now. Ooh. <laughs>